what is a heart attack medically known as your options are arrhythmia angina myocardial infarction or hypertension the correct answer is c that is myocardial infarction a myocardial infarction commonly known as a heart attack occurs when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked for a long enough time to cause damage to the heart muscles question number 26 which component of blood is responsible for carrying oxygen your options are white blood cells platelets plasma or red blood cells the correct answer is d that is red blood cells red blood cells contain hemoglobin which binds to oxygen and transport it from the lungs to the tissues and organs of the body question number 27 which blood vessel have walls to prevent back flow your options are arteries capillaries veins or arterioles the correct answer is c that is veins veins have walls that prevent the back flow of blood ensuring it flows in one direction back to the heart especially from the lower extremities question number 28 dear friends you are attending the mcq quiz of the most repeated and most important questions based on cardiovascular system and this is the part 2 of the series and i'm sure that you don't want to miss the first part as first part contain very important question based on the cardiovascular system so the link of the first part has been given in the description or you can find out on this i button dear friends it's a challenge for you let's see what will be your score out of these 25 questions so watch this video till end to see your level of knowledge in cardiovascular system let's continue question number 28 what condition is characterized by an abnormal increase in the number of white blood cells your options are anemia leukemia thrombocytopenia or polycythemia the correct answer is b that is leukemia Leukemia is a type of cancer characterized by an abnormal increase in the number of white blood cells which impairs normal blood cell production. Question number 29 Which structure carries oxygenated blood from the heart to the body? Your options are pulmonary artery pulmonary vein superior vena cava or aorta the correct answer is d that is aorta the aorta is the main artery that carries oxygenated blood from the left ventricle of the heart to the rest of the body question number 30 What is the purpose of the synotrial SA node in the heart? Your options are to pump blood, to control heart rate, to produce blood cells or to filter blood. The correct answer is B that is to control heart rate. The synotrial SA node generates electrical impulses that set the rhythm and pace of the heart beat acting as the heart's natural pace maker. Question number 
what is the main function of the pulmonary circulation? Your options are to deliver oxygenated blood to the body, to remove carbon dioxide from the body, to transport blood to the lungs for oxygenation or to supply nutrients to the heart. The correct answer is C, that is to transport blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The pulmonary circulation transport deoxygenated blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs for oxygenation and returns oxygenated blood to the left side of the heart. Question number 32. Which heart chamber has the thickest walls? Your options are right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium or left ventricle. The correct answer is D that is left ventricle. The left ventricle has the thickest walls because it needs to generate enough force to pump oxygenated blood throughout the entire body. Question number 33. Which blood vessel carries deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs? Your options are aorta, pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery or superior vena cava. The correct answer is C, that is pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from the right ventricle of the heart to the lungs for oxygenation. Question number 34. What type of blood vessel is primarily responsible for nutrient and waste exchange with tissues? The options are arteries, capillaries, veins or lymphatic vessels. The correct answer is B that is capillaries. Capillaries have thin walls that allow for the exchange of nutrients, gases and waste products between the blood and surrounding tissues. Question number 35. What condition is caused by insufficient blood flow to the heart muscle? Your options are hypertension, atherosclerosis, angina pectoris, or arrhythmia. The correct answer is C, that is angina pectoris. Angina pectoris is chest pain or discomfort due to insufficient blood flow to the heart muscle, typically caused by narrowing or blockage of the coronary arteries. Question number 36. Which component of blood helps in clot formation? Your options are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets or plasma. The correct answer is C that is platelets. Platelets are cell fragments that play a crucial role in clot formation, helping to stop bleeding by forming plaques in blood vessel injuries. Question number 37. What is the function of the tricuspid wall? Your options are to prevent backflow of blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium, to pump blood to the lungs, to supply blood to the heart muscle, or to regulate heart rate. The correct answer is. A, that is to prevent backflow of blood from the right ventricle to the right atrium. 
The tricuspid wall is located between the right atrium and the right ventricle and prevents the backflow of blood when the right ventricle contracts. Question number 38. Which type of blood cell is primarily responsible for immune defense? Your options are red blood cells, platelets, white blood cells or plasma cells. The correct answer is C that is white blood cells. White blood cells are crucial for immune defense as they help to protect the body against infection and foreign invaders. Question number 39. What is the primary function of the left ventricle? The options are to receive deoxygenated blood from the body, to pump oxygenated blood to the body, to receive oxygenated blood from the lungs, or to pump deoxygenated blood to the lungs. The correct answer is B that is to pump oxygenated blood to the body. The left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood received from the left atrium to the entire body through the aorta. Question number 40. Which structure prevents backflow of blood into the left ventricle? Your options are tricuspid wall, pulmonary wall, mitral wall or aortic wall? The correct answer is D that is aortic wall. The aortic wall is located between the left ventricle and the aorta, preventing backflow of blood into the left ventricle after it has been pumped out. Question number 41. What is the role of hemoglobin in the cardiovascular system? Two options are to transport oxygen, to fight infections, to clot blood, to regulate blood pressure. The correct answer is A that is to transport oxygen, hemoglobin, a protein found in the red blood cells binds to oxygen and the lungs and carries it to tissues throughout the body. Question number 42. What is the name of the condition characterized by high blood pressure? Two options are hypotension, hypertension, tachycardia or bradycardia. The correct answer is B that is hypertension. Hypertension is a condition characterized by persistently high blood pressure which can lead to various cardiovascular complications. Question number 43. Which of the following is a risk factor for cardiovascular disease? Your options are High cholesterol, low blood pressure, moderate exercise, or low sodium intake. The correct answer is A that is high cholesterol. High cholesterol levels can lead to the buildup of plaques in the arteries, increasing risk of cardiovascular diseases such as heart attack and stroke. Question number 44. What is the term for the network of blood vessels that supplies blood to the heart muscle itself? Two options are pulmonary circulation, systemic circulation, coronary circulation or lymphatic circulation. The correct answer is C that is coronary circulation. Coronary circulation refers to the network of the arteries and veins that supply blood to the heart muscle, ensuring it receives the oxygen and nutrients it needs to function. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव वट इज द रोल ऑफ द सुपीरियर वेनाकावा ऑप्शन सा टू कैरी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द लंग्स टू द हार्ट टू कैरी डी ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड फ्रॉम द अपर बॉडी टू द हार्ट टू पंप ब्लड टू द बॉडी और टू सप्लाई ब्लड टू द हार्ट मसल The correct answer is B. That is to carry deoxygenated blood from the upper body to the heart. The superior vena cava is a large vein that carries deoxygenated blood from the upper body back to the right atrium of the heart. Question number forty-six. What is the term for the period of contraction in the heart cycle? The options are. सिस्टोल डेस्टोल मयोकार्डियम और पेरिकार्डियम द करेक्ट आंसर इज ए दट इज सिस्टोल सिस्टोल इज द फेज ऑफ द कार्डियक साइकिल वेन द हार्ट मसल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट पंपिंग ब्लड आउट ऑफ द चेंबर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन विच चेंबर ऑफ द हार्ट पंप्स ब्लड टू द सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन ऑप्शन सा राइट एट्रियम राइट वेंट्रिकल लेफ्ट एट्रियम लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल द करेक्ट आंसर इज डी दट इज लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल पंप्स ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड इन टू द अयोल्टा एंड सिस्टमिक सर्कुलेशन सप्लाइंग द एंटायर बॉडी विथ ब्लड क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट What is the function of the pulmonary valve? The options are to prevent backflow of blood into the left ventricle, to prevent backflow of blood into the right atrium, or to prevent backflow of blood into the left atrium, or to prevent backflow of blood into the right ventricle. The correct answer is D. That is to prevent backflow of blood into the right ventricle. The pulmonary valve is located between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery, preventing backflow of blood into the right ventricle after it has been pumped out to the lungs. Question number forty-nine: Which blood component is primarily involved in immune responses? The options are red blood cells, platelets, plasma, or white blood cells. The correct answer is D. That is white blood cells. White blood cells play a crucial role in the immune system, defending the body against infection and foreign invaders. Question number fifty. What is the function of the capillaries in the cardiovascular system? The options are to carry blood away from the heart, to return blood to the heart. to exchange gases nutrients and waste products with tissues or to regulate blood pressure the correct answer is c that is to exchange gases nutrients and waste products with tissues capillaries have thin walls that facilitate the exchange of gases nutrients and waste products between the blood and surrounding tissues your score out of 25 questions and friends thanks for joining us on this exciting journey if you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new then give us thumbs up and let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field until the next time stay curious stay healthy see you take care